Russell back with Gwinnett Lawns in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia. Today is June the 23rd, 2019. It's a Sunday. And today's video is going to be dealing with the bottom of your mower. To scrape or not to scrape? That is the question. All right, so I know most people probably, depending on where you're cutting, have to scrape the deck. Maybe, you'll do, maybe you're doing it once, twice a day, once a week, twice a week. Fortunately, uh, at least for me, in my situation, 99.9% .9 of everything I cut is Bermuda. Uh, Bermuda is very, uh, it has a very low moisture content, generally as compared to say fescue or crabgrass, ryegrass, some of the other um, cool season grasses that maybe you guys are cutting. So I have to very infrequently scrape the deck. Now, that being said, I cut a, I'm going to call it a field yesterday that was pretty much nothing but nasty, disgusting crabgrass and weeds. Had a very extremely um, high moisture content. So much so that it's, I don't even want to touch this, but it's just, this, this would never happen with Bermuda. But I could tell that the uh, mower was, you can tell, I can tell by the pitch of the blade when it really gets bad underneath. I'm going to show you. But the question is, is it more efficient to scrape the deck? Obviously, if you're in the field, you know, you can do a quick scrape. But I like to get the mowers ready and get all the equipment ready for the week coming up. And let me show you what it looks like under here. Now, the other main mower that I use is the Honda right there. And this is what came out of the Honda. Now this, this is Bermuda, and I just used this yesterday. And you see how dry it is? It's almost like, I don't know, almost like hay. This stuff didn't require any scraping. It was just in the different nooks and crannies that were under there. Now, this garbage right here, which almost looks like mud, which isn't, but here's the underside of the deck. That is disgusting. Now I scraped this side and I'm gonna do a little experiment. We're gonna do this together. This side, I'm not gonna scrape. I'm gonna grab my pressure washer and pressure wash and we'll compare to see which comes out better. It took me probably, I don't know, three or four minutes to make that mess right there on that side. That took probably, I don't know, a couple minutes. But the point of this is um, how clean can we get the deck in an efficient amount of time if we use a pressure washer. Now, the only caveat I would tell you from being a mechanic is you certainly, this is the spindle right here, okay? And there's sealed bearings in here. so. As I'm spraying, what I want to stay away from is hard water pressure in this area right here. It's not even dirty anyway, so uh, if I use this angle and it hits the blade and just kind of work my way around, that is the only thing that uh, I would tell you to not directly spray. You don't want to get water in the bearings. Now, these are really high quality spindles and I doubt I could even do that, but I don't want to take the chance. So anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to have to move the truck and trailer down the driveway and get this right mower outside and get it up on the uh, Jungle Gems jack. This is the best thing ever in the history of the world for lifting up mowers. I absolutely love this thing. It's very lightweight. It's compact. This mower is extremely stable and it is well worth every single penny. So if you are using something else, you know, there's a lot of different um, things you can use out there, but the Jungle Gems Jungle Jack is phenomenal. Um, I got a video on how to assemble it and everything. It's, it takes a very small footprint. So uh, I'm gonna stop blabbing. I'm gonna get the pressure washer set up and I will see you back under the deck. All right, here we go.
go get my extension nozzle. So, as you can tell, it's a messy job. Let me turn this off. All right, so let me, um... <laughs> all right, just as my general thoughts, looking at this of course it gets it much cleaner if you're pressure washing it however you will hold on <clears throat> it's a very messy job now this mower was exceptionally or is still exceptionally dirty um, I'm gonna let you guys decide So, you know, there's pretty much the cleaned with the pressure washer and the other side. You know, the other side to me is what you would do normally on your maintenance. <clears throat> I can't see doing this every time. Uh, I mean, look, this is disgusting. But the entire mower needs pressure washing because it's just dirty. So... What do you guys think? Do you pressure wash the underside of your deck? Do you not? Do you just scrape and go? Leave me a comment down below. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and completely clean all this disgusting stuff off the mower and I'll be back to show you the final result. That is a disgusting mess. But the mower's nice and clean. Well, as clean as it's going to be. It's, as soon as I cut with it, it's going to get dirty again. But I got the majority of the grass off. Now, I will tell you one thing. And you guys that cut the high moisture grasses have to suffer with this. More so than we do with our awesome Bermuda. But the uh, decks, if you let that stuff sit on there, the decks are going to rust because I'm already getting some surface rust. Now, while that does look like a mess, it's nothing like that. I think, I would, I think everybody would agree. Um, now, will I pressure wash the deck again? Yes. This is probably going to be something I may do, I don't know, once a month, maybe once every two months, certainly before the end or at the end of the season. I'll do that and make sure it's uh, super dry under there. I don't want to let the grass sit on there. I do notice that when the Bermuda grass sits on there, I don't get any surface rust. And I will, obviously, with the high weed moisture content grasses. But anyway, so again, do you guys pressure wash your underside of your deck? Do you pressure wash... The mower itself that's the first time water's ever touched the mower other than rain um, i generally don't like to uh, pressure wash lawn equipment uh, just because there is you know there's a lot of hem it's called hem helm joints that are let me see if i can okay so this is a helm joint all right and uh, there's really no grease points on this on this mower these are sealed they have a uh almost like a nylon type of um, bushing there and they work very well and I don't generally the mower just doesn't get very dirty uh, except the underside so anyway we are at 59.9 hours on the uh, mower I will do a hundred hour review just a teaser I do love this mower 
but if I were to do it again, if I were to start over again, it wouldn't be the first mower I would buy. Um, but I do, I do love the mower and certainly going to keep it. But in retrospect, I probably now knowing uh, the characteristics of that mower. And there is one thing that is bothering me about it. It may be uh, an issue later on down the line. If I can get a video of it doing that, then uh, what I'm getting, I'm not going to tell you yet, but if I can get a video of it, um, I'm going to do that. But it is something that is very concerning to me. But I love the mower. It's a great mower. It's just not the mower I would start out with. So I am planning on getting another mower. It could be another right, uh, but it's not going to be a stand-up mower. So anyway, with that being said, I'm going to end this video. Leave me a comment. Do you pressure wash the underside of your deck? Do you not? How often do you scrape it? How often do you clean it? Talk to me. All right, guys. I'll talk to you in the next video.